everybody, it's Christine Bertram, and I am coming to you live from the Hive on Tuesday. It is June 14th today. We're almost halfway through June, and <laughs> it get me in a hot mess today. Um, it is a scorcher out there today, so I've been working up in my craft room without air conditioning, and I ran into the last possible minute, and I'm like, you guys love me without makeup. So I, I love you guys without makeup. So we're like, it's a big happy family and <laughs> it's all good. So I did want to go live here though, before Tyler gets home from work. We have a, a date night with our friends. They're coming over and I try as much prepped ahead of time. So the turkey meatballs are in the oven. The spaghetti squash is cooked. The asparagus is on a pan. And I warned Tyler, hi Lisa, that I might still be live when he gets home because I wanted to get through the scavenger hunt with you. I, <laughs> I was thinking of Deb Norman while I was finished grading my scavenger hunts. I teased her because she got a pedicure done the day before I was gonna leave for my trip and I didn't have time to get that pedicure done. And you know what? It's a good thing I did not get that pedicure, you guys, because we hiked so much. I would have worn that toenail polish right off all of my feet. Hi, <laughs> Sherry Martin. Um, 97 and Slinger. Yes, it is a hot day today here. <laughs> um, hi, Donna Simmer. So, whew, so I'm warm. I'm overheating, and I've got some cold tea next to me, and um, I'll try to stay nice and cool for you guys. Uh, <laughs> And so I was thinking of Deb Norman because I actually got my pedicure after the fact. And I thought of her while I was doing what I was doing. And you know what I was doing during my uh, pedicure? I was grading scavenger hunts, you guys. Hi, Gwen Petrashek. Hi, Denise. Hi, Sharon. So I got all of them done except for two questions. And those were the hardest two questions that I actually needed to have the catalog like and go page by page to count the answers. And I just finished that about 30 minutes ago. Hi, Sarah New. And so I've got what I think are the right answers. <laughs> and I thought I would go through them and also share with you a tip. The tip is provided to you courtesy of Lori Ransom. Uh, she has been one of my Stampin' Up! customers since 2016. So I've known this gal for a little while. Um, hi, Laura Wagon. Um, heat index 107 this morning for you. Thanks for sharing, Bonnie Kelly. Hello to you. Uh, so Lori Ransom sent me, and I haven't, you guys, this is a tip coming to you via somebody else. I haven't experimented with it yet. Hi, Cindy Bassett. Hi, Amy Ponce. Um, I haven't experimented with it yet. So I'm not sure if it works or not. Jennifer Jones, hey girl, I've sent you an email and I think I texted you. Not sure if you didn't get it, but I had you tentatively signed up for the Summer Creative Escape and I was trying to confirm if you were still planning to or not. Um, um, hi, Jacqueline. Uh, the official ending date to sign up was this past. Hi, Jessica Rodriguez. I'm from Kansas. Woohoo. The last official day to sign up with this was this past, like, Friday the 10th. But what happens is I have a set number that are signed up and I plan for maybe 10 more because I know once I show the cards and the projects and the bag or whatever the gift is that I give for the attendance gift, more people will sign up. So I kind of have a good game plan of how many. So just, uh, Jennifer, I just was curious if you were planning to or not. One time that being cooler by the lake is a really, yes, it is a really good thing. <laughs> and my garage was really cool until I open up the garage door to bring the garbages in and then it heated up really hot. <laughs> so, um, so yes, Jennifer, if you have a moment, just confirm for me if you do or you don't, either way, I'm good with it. Um, hi, Donna. Thanks for sharing. Uh, so we're going to go over the scavenger hunt and the tip for you guys is from Lori Ransom. I'm afraid to show you the tip because, um, uh, as soon as I sh sh go out of my video, then I don't get comments back usually, but we're going to try it. Hi, Christina Bernards. Oh, Christina has something too I want to share for you guys. Thanks for that reminder, Christina. So Christina first, you guys. All right, hang on. Let's find Christina here. I want to share with you what Christina shared with me yesterday. So this is just to show you guys, you don't always have to have the exact stamps that I use um, in a class. Hi, Sandy Wicklander. So Christina wrote to me about the May class card that featured the Let's, just Sit, Let's Set Sail stamp set. If you guys recall that card... It looked something like this. And so she, I love what she wrote. She used the sailing home sailboat stamp for the inside and the envelope. Christine, I hope you don't mind I'm sharing this. I, I don't think you do, but um, waves of inspiration for the waves. She used the on horizon stamp set for the birds. She used the all squared away. There was a wavy texture stamp in there. She used those for the white sail, um, sails that I had cut out. 
um, or punched out. She used the sun from Paradise Palms. She used the sentiment um, from Stitch So Sweetly. So I didn't have a sentiment on there, but she wanted one. So she die cut it and added a sentiment. And this is what she wrote. I laughed. I chuckled, Christina. This is exactly why we can never have too many stamp sets. Laughing out loud. <laughs> oh, good, Christine. I'm glad that you're honored. So you guys, look at her beautiful card that she shared. She completely went outside the box, and she didn't have that stamp set, and she improvised, and it turned out great. And look at her awesome inside, okay? Super, super cool. So, Christina, thank you for sharing that. I really appreciate that. Um, I hope everybody else gets inspiration. See, I sent Tyler a text message. Squash is cooked. The meatballs are in the oven. The asparagus is ready to go. <laughs> All right. Let's find Lori Ransom here. So this was Lori's tip, you guys. Okay. So I'm curious for anybody who has been watching this um, or is watching is, is if this is a thing that works or not. So to give credit where credit is due, um, she got this off of Stamp Junkies from a Karen Luis. So we are sharing a tip from somebody else, okay? And she was today old when I learned that sunscreen removes ink stains from wood. Okay, so a bunch of you have wood stamps and they get inky dinky do, or you get them at a rummage sale or a stamp sale and they are loved and you're like, I want to clean these up. So she wrote in here, a recent eBay purchase wasn't the prettiest. So I figured the rubber was fine. Let's try Google. Sunscreen. Wow. My beachy lighthouse stamp now smells like the beach. And so that was a before. Look at all the, the ink stains on there. And that was, oops, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> that was the after. So you guys, the official tip for Tip Tuesday today is coming through you from Karen Louise via Lori Ransom, found on the Stamp Junkies website, cleaning up your stamps using sunscreen. Okay, so that is what I wanted to share with you for Tip Tuesday. Hi, Laura Sullivan. Hi, Dan. Hi, Gail. Hi, Karen. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Naughty Nancy. Okay, so we've got the tip done. We shared Christina's beautiful Let's Set Sale. We're going to go through the scavenger hunt. I... I have three people that I think have tied for first place. So this is maybe officially, I want to get feedback if you guys want to do this. I think this might be the first, official first scavenger hunt where I actually take the tiebreaker question and create a poll on my page and you guys can vote for the top names. So, um, oh, cool, Jennifer, you want to do it. You'll send me the Venmo 115 because you're on the team. Venmo is perfect. Just don't choose that payment protection. Otherwise, it charges a fee. All right. So perfect, Jennifer. I don't think you want to do any swaps, but I haven't posted the swap numbers yet because I was waiting for like two more people. Um, but Jennifer, could you just confirm in an email or a text too if you want to do the swaps or not? So doing business on the fly, you guys. All right. So we have the scavenger hunt from the annual catalog. You guys, I have it on my radar to create the scavenger hunt for the holiday mini catalog this week. As soon as I have it done, I'll send an email and I'll also put it in my newsletter section for you guys to be able to access. Um, so just to show you, this is the new holiday mini catalog and celebration that's coming out. I can show you guys the cover. Can't show you the insides yet, but that is the next scavenger hunt. I always do scavenger hunts. You guys, I've been doing this probably since the beginning of my time, um, maybe like 2015 or 2016. And um, I always do them with a new catalog. And so what we're going... Oh, Sandy's in Florida right now. Woohoo! Yay. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, uh, my brother and sister-in-law were actually in Yellowstone and they had to leave their vacation trip two days early and are dri they drove there and they're driving back. So they're going to spend extra days in Montana, but there's a whole bunch of flooding in um, Yellowstone. Hi, Peggy Claprick. So the, what we're going to grade right now is the scavenger hunt for the annual catalog. And I haven't declared a winner yet, but I want to go through the answers. Um, and I thought real quick, I'm going to go through the names that I have. I've done this two times, but one more time, just in case I um, figured out Stacy and Feline had, we got their names on the two that I didn't have names on, but I'm going to go really quick through the names. If you don't hear your name, um, and you did send me a scavenger hunt, um, by the 31st of May, let me know. Um, you can do the scavenger hunt, Donna, um, but what I, I generally mail prizes within the United States. So you were a lucky duck because you won a mystery card night. I was able to mail you a flat embellishment. Um, so it didn't cost me like package or parcel rate, but you're welcome to do it. 
Um, and you can always grade your answers along with me. I do it to help you guys see what's in the catalog because sometimes you look over the things and you're like, oh my gosh, a year later, like I didn't know that was even in there. So hi, Linda Hall. So I want just, I do the scavenger hunt to help you guys see more <laughs> things. All right, so Karen Wetstein, Jean Maxwell, Cindy Runtree, Betty Pyle, Anna Rabadou, Carla Lake, Deb Norman, Feline Mays, Sue Volt, Christina Bernard, Stacey Burns. Hi, Zaina. All right. Carmen Melendez, Kathy Jackson from Iola, Wisconsin. Um, and Millie Kindle. Um, hi, Debbie. Good afternoon to you, too. Sweltering Central Illinois. That's all the way up here, too. <laughs> um, Mary Carls and uh, Barb Johnson. So those are the gals that handed theirs in. If I missed you, um, get in touch with me ASAP. Make sure I get a copy. Um, it was a lot easier controlling them as they came in via email <laughs> or um, I love paper, you guys. So if you can mail a paper copy, that makes me even happier. Um, so we're going to roll through these. Hi, Debbie Schultz. Hi, Melanie Foy. We're going to go through the answers and see what we've got here. I have Karen Wetsign's on top. She's one of the top three that I believe that had the most correct. But again, I haven't declared a winner because I fully, I believe three people are tied. Oh, Melanie's in sweltering Florida. Yes, you guys, it's hot all over, isn't it? All right, so here's the annual catalog. 11 p.m. by you. Yes, good. I should say good evening to you. <laughs> all right. What are the names of the five new in colors? What is your favorite? So in colors can be found in the color collection, which is on page... 123 and 122. So on 122, there are five new ink colors. Part of the question is telling me your favorite. So if somebody didn't tell me their favorite, I gave a half a point if you had all five of them. So we have Orchid Oasis. Oh yes, Debbie, I saw that you were in Oregon. I We're friends on Facebook. So I saw that you were hopping over to that side of the country. So um, it's 65 there. So that's nice temperature. Orchid Oasis, Parakeet Party, Starry Sky, Sweet Serbet, Sorbet, <laughs> Sherbert. I want to say Sherbert, but it's Sorbet. Um, and Tahitian Tide. Hi, Julie Gillen. Happy anniversary to Miss Julie Gillen. 30 years I saw on Facebook. Um, happy anniversary to you guys. Um, uh, so five of them listed out and then having your favorite. Karen's was Parakeet Party. Um, I did see a lot of people love Tahitian Tide and Starry Sky. If I had to pick you guys it's weird. I'm not going to say the purple one, even though I love purple. I actually picked Starry Sky. I got the Tumblr in star, Starry Sky. All right. So that one's that. Um, hi, Carol Sanquinetti. All right. How many suites were introduced in the new catalog? That one is always easy to find because if you go to the front of the catalog, there's a, a little product suites here and there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's 10 suites. So 10 is the answer I was looking for. Karen's is Hues of Happiness. Um, there was Sun Prince was a very popular. He's the man, Abigail Rose. It was across the board for what the people who completed it. If I had to pick you guys, mm, Sun Prince or Texture Chic are my favorites. Yeah, I would have to say that. Hues of Happiness. Oh my gosh, I'm tied for three. Hues of Happiness. But if I'd have to put one down, I would probably put Sun Prince. I love the blues. Hi, Margaret Rika. All right, so 10 and a favorite answer on that one. I was looking for two things. Now, friends are our chosen family. How many unique stamps have the word friend in them? And I put friend in a little quote because it could be friends, it could be friendship. And so I literally went page by page through this entire catalog, you guys, and I made myself a list. And this is my chicken scratch of a list. And I came up with 40. So I had... I think two people, Jean Maxwell had 40 and um, Cindy Runtree, they had 40. Otherwise, everybody else, oh, and I take it back, Betty Pyle also had 40, but I think everybody else had something different. Um, it's tricky because I put friend in quotes. So I wasn't looking for just friend. I was looking for like friend in it. So just to run down, I won't go page by page, but I'll go in page order and list the names of the stamp set. So there was the, the Tea Boutique had one, the Cherry Bundle had one, the Seashells by the Seashore had two. Um, whoa, Amazing Year had one. Oh man, I can't remember. Oh, Peaceful Moments had one. The Ladybug set had one. Framed Occasions had one. Biggest Wish had one. The Peaceful Deer had one. Um, 
an ex Christmas set had one, and the elephant bundle had one. Glad we're friends had two. By my side had two. Cottage Rose had one. Pot of geranium had two. Eden's Garden had one. The Hedgehogs had one. Lovely You had one. Perfect Plants had one. True Beauty had one. Oh, I can't read that. <laughs> um, Flowers of Friendship had one. The Forever Fern had one. Better Days had one. Bamboo Beauty had one. Treasured Something had one. Wisteria had one. The Waves of Inspiration had one. I want to go back to that one yet and find that one. Just because they're in page order. But let me... Uh, True Beauty was on page 67. I want to read it off to you before I get too far. I was trying to think of it in my head as I kept reading. Um, True Beauty is... Um, what is my writing here? Threw it together. Okay, threw it together. That's it. Threw, that's through actually. Threw it together at one. Okay, so back on track. Flowers of Friendship, one. Forever Ferns, one. Better Days, one. Bamboo Beauty, one. Treasured Something, one. Waves of Inspiration, one. G something. <laughs> Beauty of Friendship had one. Let's go back here real quick. If I would learn to write a little bit. Beauty of Friendship, that's what that is. Um, oh man, hang on one moment, please. It was the one before that. I should have, my chicken scratch. I was writing really fast. 104, 104, let's find page 104. And then beauty of friendship is here. And before that is, oh, shaded summer. That says Shaded Summer has two, actually. There's two words where the, your friendship is there and friend. Perfect. So Shaded Summer, two. Beauty of Friendship, one. The Dragonfly had one. Handpen Petals had one. Happiness of Bounds has one. And Sit Stay has one. You guys may... Hi, Tabitha. You, you may have missed it because there is a host set back here that has Hi, Friend in it. So, so I came up with 40. Nobody had more than 40, but three people did have 40. So that was, I think I'm good with 40 being the right answer. Did you know you receive a 10% discount when ordering a bundle? So I was looking for the word, you know, yes, because that is a question. And then how many bundles are offered in the new catalog? So, so I came up with 46 and there were people, a few people did get 46, but this one's kind of tricky because there's not just bundles in dyes. Hi, Pauline. It's not just dyes and um, dyes and punches. If you go to the color here, there are bundles because it says 10% savings, 10% savings. And here there's four plus two is six. So I've got six ink pads. There's four ink refills. So that makes 10. If you go to the designer paper, which is back here. Um, nope, it's up here there is a bundle right here with vellum and a stamp set and it's so you save 10 percent. so you were looking for that 10 percent. so that was botanical layers there's also one bundle with blocks which is right here right here 10 percent. so there's a bundle there with blocks you guys if you do these with me over and over <laughs> if it's been a couple years you start to catch on to where all these bundles are and then there's punches there's bundles so two four six seven and then there's 27 dies and those are kind of easy because you go two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty twenty two twenty four twenty six twenty seven so i came up with 46 bundles some people did have that. I know um, Karen got it incorrect. If I said Jean earlier that Jean got this wrong, I know I'm. this is Karen's. <laughs> um, Jean got it right. <laughs> I, I don't, but so there are, somebody did have 46 throughout here. So I know that that's what I've got. Um, I feel like one person did have 47, but they had listed their things and they listed here. I think Carmen, it might've been you. Carmen listed... Here, there's some stuff listed that there's a collection, a collection, and a collection. So I believe she had counted those, but those aren't bundles. You don't get a 10% savings with those. So I didn't count collections because in these, there's also, that's a collection. It's not necessarily, the collection isn't a bundle. The bundle itself is the bundle. So 
Hi, Brenda. Hopefully that helps. So we've got for number four, the answer is 46, and you have to either say yes or no. How many new Stampin' Blend combo packs were introduced in the new annual catalog? I also went with 10 on this one because you have the new in colors here. So the new in colors would be a five. And then also, if you guys saw that, the new skin tones actually um, were five as well. So the question is how many new combo packs were there? So there, and so the 10 was the answer. There were five skin tones and there were five in colors. So 10, what are the four percentage levels of Stampin' Rewards that you can earn by being a hostess. Can I twist your arm into booking a private class in person or online via Facebook? So I was looking for the four percentage levels, which they can always be found with the hostess information at the back of the book. Um, in this case, it's at the back of the book. So they're listed right there, 10, 12, 14, 16. And then um, in this case, Karen said, nope, sorry, <laughs> which is all good. Um, but sometimes somebody says yes. So, um, so it would be those four percentage levels and either a yes or a no. How many new punches were introduced in the new catalog? So we already talked about punches slightly, but was there a punch that, hang on. Okay, so it says new. Here's the trickery, new. So one, two, three. This is not new. It carried over from the mini. So we're at one, two, three, four, five, six, but then come over here and there is a new seventh punch that's not part of a bundle. And so the answer for this one is seven. Some people at six, I think they might've missed this, but seven is the answer. How many different unique rolls of ribbon and trim are offered on pages 145 through 146? So let's get over there. And so the answer was 41. You have to be very careful when you do this because sometimes there's two in the same picture. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Thanks for sharing, Laura. Hi, Penny Powell. Oh man, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. I thought it was 14. <laughs> 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. This is where it gets big. So 20, this is 5, 25, this is 5, 30, 5, 40, 5, 45, uh, I just lost count, 14. <laughs> Let's start over. 14, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. So the answer is 41 and which is your favorite? Um, Karen's is the Evening Evergreen 3 Ace Open Weave. That one right there with the green. Okay, so the answer for that one is 41, you guys. How many embellishments? So many embellishments. How many embellishment packs were introduced? New ones. So got to look for the keyword new. Where this one didn't ask about new. So I switched it up a little bit. Embellishments, I think, are right there. So how many new? So I look for the N's in this case. So... Um, one, two, three, four, five. I included the shaker domes. It's an embellishment to help add on to your card. So one, two, three, four, five. And then six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13 is what I came up with as well. The majority of the people at 13. Um, and what is your favorite? Glossy Dots Assortment is Karen's favorite, which is um, this one right here, which is what we're using for all of the new, this is the class that we're doing for ink, paper, scissors. And so everybody will get a pack of them with this class, a full pack with some of that open weave ribbon and polished pink. Hi, Lynn Beasley. Um, if, um, if you guys still wanna sign up for this, I still have some space. I'm getting down there, you know, maybe like 10 left that we have the card kits. We're prepping for this on Thursday. So you guys don't forget to sign up for this if you are interested in this class. This one is $36 mailed. All right, so next question up here. Foil, acetate, vellum, and glimmer. Oh my, what page are all these found on and which is your favorite? And the page is 139. And Karen's favorite is the Distressed Gold. If I had to pick, hmm, I, hmm. Okay, well, 
In terms of versatility, pearlescent is always a nice add-on. Um, in terms of my favorite color, there's a bowl, um, uh, a gold, rose gold, that's more of a matted one, not this holographic one, and I don't like the shiny one as much. I like the non-shiny one. That would be my favorite, like, to look at. <laughs> All right. So, did you catch that the new magnetic plate is now available for purchase? Well, at the time I did the scavenger hunt, yes, it was. But if you guys read the newsletter that I published on Friday, you will see that Stampin' Up! had issues with it again. And they have since pulled it from their line. So at the time, the answer was yes. <laughs> and it says, what page can you find it on? 157 and how much does it cost? $28. Um, again, it's Nick say, so I don't want to write my book here, but they are not available for purchase. Both magnetic platforms are not available. Um, I don't know what they're going to do. Um, if you read my newsletter, you can see exactly what they wrote to us. All right. How many new exclusive host products were introduced and what are their names? That's at the back of the book where we saw the table here. So there's Design a Daydream Paper, Sit, Stay, Relax, Garden Grandeur, and Begin with a Dream. So the answer was four plus the names listed. Hi, Barbara Collins. Um, so four and then the names. So that was good. Um, oh my, designer series paper. How many new packs? You guys, I still continue to trick people on this and I don't mean to. I really don't. Oh, but let's go through them really quick. So designer series paper. Um, and then it says, what is one that you like the best? Okay, so one, two, three. We're on page 131. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, 13, 14, because there's two packs here, and then there's four packs here. So 15, 16, 17, 18, and then 19. Hi, Sue Somerville. So I think like three people got 19, but I think I had a lot of people that missed. They might have not counted these at all, or they only counted one here and one here and missed that there was actually four here and two here. So the answer is 19. Karen's favorite is Hues of Happiness which is this really pretty one. I love that one too. I think if I had to pick a paper, I would pick this paper too. I love it. And that is what I picked for the ink paper scissors. That's this paper. So you guys will get a quarter pack of that designer series paper, the embellishments and a roll of ribbon with that class. It's $36 mailed, $30 if you do porch pickup. It is amazing. Okay. Embossing folders. So let's get to the embossing folders, which are back yonder. It says, how many new embossing folders were introduced? Um, hi, Lorna. It's nice to see the new goodies. Yes, there's so much good stuff. The embossing folders are way at the end. It says, how many new ones were introduced? You got to be careful because this is a trick question because there are pairs. So new. So let's look for the news and then let's look if there's doubles. So one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I got some people on this because they, some people had nine. They missed, hi Linda Hodge, they missed this one. And I think I got some people because they might've counted these as one, but there's actually two folders. So the answer is 10. <clears throat> Karen's favorite is the fern as well as mine. I think my favorite new one is definitely the fern. I definitely got to use that for the sun prints class that's coming up next week, Thursday, the 23rd. Um, I used it on this background blue piece here. It got used here on the background and I used it here. So these, you guys, are the sun prints class. That's the sweet bundle class that's coming up next week, the 23rd. This one is a fee-based class or it's free with an order. It's your choice. Um, if you place a $45 order using my host code that's here or on my website, same host code that's listed, you get it for free. I'll send you the four card kits in the mail. If you buy the bundle or the suite as your RSVP for class, specifically for this class, um, you'll also get a half a pack of paper as my gift to you. Or it's $23 if you'd like it mailed or $18 for porch pickup. So mom and I are kidding those up on Thursday as well. So um, I think I have about 10 left for that one as well. I had Anna, she made 12 extra sets for me because I was already sold out. And then since then, two or three are already gone. So there's, there might be less than 10 left of that one. 
So I am a new product designed to keep paper sections ink free while using coloring techniques. What am I called? Hi, Mitzi Stanley. Oh yes, those sun prints were so much fun. Um, this was specific. I had a couple people that had something else that could have worked, but it was pretty specific. Um, the masking paper is in it. Hi, Wendy Kruger. Um, so let's see where the masking paper is here. Here it is because it says it exactly word for word. It says, keep designated paper sections ink-free while using coloring techniques. <laughs> so masking paper was the answer. Um, Laura says, how do I get that catalog? This catalog, Laura, um, I have them available. I give them to my customers for free if they've placed orders with me. Um, I am trying to think if you placed an order with me in the last six months to a year. You'll, well, I'll make a note about a catalog for you. If not, what I do is, if you have never placed an order with me, what I do is I send the catalogs, but I just charge for the shipping. So, And then I would even probably um, give a rebate coupon in the catalog for $10 off your next purchase. So in essence, you're getting it for free. Um, but that's how I would do that. Hi, Barbara Barco. Barco. Hi, Kay Warren. Hi, Becky Gandolfo. All right, so masking paper is the answer there. How many reversible stamp sets are there and what are their names? Oh man, you guys, there is a section just for that in this catalog. And I'm gonna cheat by looking up the name, Waterfall Canyon 94. Let's go to page 94 and we'll see them all on a spread here. So, boom, double take. Um, hi, Jody Storman. Make your paper crafting projects twice as nice with our reversible stamp, specialized photopolymer stamps. You can stamp using both sides. So this is one stamp. It's reversible. This is reversible. So when you see this dark shadowy, um, okay, you bet, Laura. Um, so what you can do is you use the front and the back of the photopolymer stamp. So the question says, how many and what are their names? So there's three, Mountain Air, Jar of Flowers, and Waterfall Canyon. You know what? I don't know if I bought that yet. I might have to get that. Um, oh, you're very welcome, Barbara. All right, so the answer is three, and those are the names. All right, how many different options do you have for purchasing a paper pumpkin? What page can you see them on? Um, page 10 is what we have noted here. So page 10, you can get a month-to-month. -month um, $23.50. So that is if you are subscribing uh, and they are shipped directly to you uh, via the paperpumpkin.com website, which is listed there. It's $23.50 plus tax. Okay, so that's like a month to month plan. But they also have where you can buy prepaids. You can buy a one month, a three month, a six month, and a 12 month. So page 10, and there's five options. So what people do for getting some of my classes for free, because it's free with a minimum order of $45, like that sun prints, or like I have, I think I have one or two left of this. This is Let's Just Stamp, which is coming up Monday. Um, this is a class that's free with a minimum order, or the monthly class is coming up this Thursday, which is free with a minimum order. I think I have like eight left of that. What people will do is they will buy a three-month prepaid subscri subscription, and then they will add that to their account so you're not billed monthly, and then they get a free class on top of it. So they're like, in essence, prepaying for their pumpkins, not being billed monthly, which is what's over here, and then getting a free class. So... Um, that's always a benefit. Um, and then you can double dip on that starting in July on the 1st. You'll also earn a free celebration item for every $50. So you get a free celebration item and a free class with me if you buy a three-month paper pumpkin subscription using my current host code. So oh, Barbara says, a lot of new stamps that I have to have. Yes, me too. <laughs> All right, back to this one. 17 was five with a page 10. Number 18, what do you get in your standard starter kit for $99 in May? So you go to the back of the book and it has about joining back here and it, it says some things, but where you really find the answer to this for, because it says in May, May was a special month. Normally you get $125 worth of product for only $99. Um, people that have done this before also know that you generally get a free paper pumpkin. Um, you also get like a business builder pack 
And what happened in May, hi, Karen. Um, what happened in May is you got the extra in color stuff. And so Karen listed it all out here. You get the all, you got all five of the in color pads. You got the in color cardstock collection, the designer series paper assortment, and the grid paper. Um, and she's got here business resources and a free paper pumpkin, and you get free shipping. So May was a great month to sign up. Um, that offer ended May 31st. There's nothing currently like extra above and beyond um, the 125. So like, let's say you sign up in June to be a Stampin' Up! discount shopper or, or demonstrator um, um, and a Be Happy Stamper. You can join my team. I'd love to have you. Uh, you get $125 worth of product, um, the business builder pack, and a free paper pumpkin and free shipping. Now, come July 1st, it's celebration. And so with celebration, there is an offer in the back of here. And what the offer is, um, it's a planner. It is um, a planner for your business and so or for you personally whatever you want it's like about a leather bound binder ish hi rose and it's got like an arm that or like a little flap over and then it has all these papers inside that you it's like a planner so i would i would correlate it to something like this this is what i use for my planner and so this is where i keep track of everything so it, it looks like this it's a spiral bound but it's got a leather case over it it's about a 45 dollar value I ordered one already, so um, as a demonstrator, you can order one. So I have mine coming. As soon as I get it, you guys, I will definitely share it with you so that you can see what it's all about in case you are curious. Um, so that will be starting July 1st. Hi, Becky Christensen from Winnicani, Wisconsin. All right, what stamp set would be good for an adventure? I was really specific on this one because um, it was like, it's an adventure, and it has the word adventure in it. So I know there were a few people that listed like five things or four things because they wanted to make sure they got it right. Um, if you had adventure's journey in your answer, I did count it. Um, I really, was really only looking for one answer, and it, it was adventure's journey, which is this one. So it says, wishing you an, an adventurous and then journey. Um, I don't own this yet. I need to get this. Tyler says I need to own the stamp set so he can make a card with it. I'm waiting for him to make a card <laughs> with some of the other stamps I have. So this one's on the back burner for me for a little while. <laughs> Hi, Betty Pyle. So, but yeah, you know, adventurous journey. And then in what stamp set can you find a hot dog, right? In quotes. All right. So that one is a stamp set called Glad We're Friends. So glad we're friends is on page 51 and hot dog. Somebody had a couple, there were a couple other answers, but this one was the one that this is a hot dog. It is fanning itself because it is definitely hot outside. <laughs> so the perfect day to go over this answer with you guys. <laughs> so this is your hot dog uh, fanning itself off in the set. Glad we're friends. So that takes me back to um, the tie. And I think, though, um, now that I did go over this, yep. So I have Jean had 18, Karen had 18, and Cindy had 18. And so the I'm going to do a poll. So what I say here is if there's a tie... Um, there, so it says 21 for the tiebreaker question, a bear, a fox, and an owl all met up in happy forest friends. What would you name the critters that are in the happier than happy stamp set found on page 47? So you guys, I am going to do a lie, a poll. I'm going to try it. I think I can do it on my Facebook page and I'll try to get it done tomorrow and have it go live for a few days. And then what we'll do is have you guys vote. Um, so there's these three critters, and I'm not going to tell you who did what for the names. I'm not going to tell you whose names is whose, so you can't pick your friend. <laughs> I want you guys to pick what you think is the most appropriate answer. So um, we have here, I'm going to get the names out of here. So one of them is Red, Blackie, and Hoot. The other is Sly, Dancer, and Hootie. And the other is Papa Bear, Arctic, the Fox, and Snowy Owl. So just so you know, those are what your choices will be. Um, I'll do a little poll and you can, I think if I can do a poll on my business page, I hope I can. If I can't do a poll on my business page, then I will figure something else out and maybe it will be a, a prize for each one of them because um, what it is is I give away a $10 gift certificate for some Stampin' Up! product um, for the person that wins. So um, if, 
but I want to do the tiebreaker question. I want to see if I can make that work. So I will see if I can get that posted in the morning and you guys will hopefully be able to pick. And then whoever has the most votes will give the prize to is my plan. So yay, I just heard the garage door open. So perfect timing. That means that I can wrap up with you guys because Tyler's here and hopefully my turkey meatballs are done in the stove <laughs> and you can throw the asparagus in. So woohoo. All right, good timing, you guys. So I went through that probably quicker than I probably should have. But if you guys need to at any moment, you can go back. As soon as I hit the end button here, you can catch the replay. Um, if you want to be um, in a, get an email's notice for me when I do my scavenger hunts and have them ready, I do share the link via email. So if you're not part of my email group, I do highly encourage you to go to my website. Um, it is right here. It's cardsbychrisby.com. If you go to a page, any of the pages or links on there, um, if it's on your phone, it's generally down further, but if you're on a, um, a laptop or a tablet, it's to the right-hand side. Um, and it says to get join my um, to subscribe to my newsletter, click here. And what that does is it gets you on my newsletter list, which includes all my upcoming classes and sales and when I send emails about the used stamp sale or if I have benefits or anything, you get the emails. And so at any time, you can always click the unsubscribe if I email you too much. <laughs> it won't hurt my feelings. It's okay. Hi, Colette. Um, uh, so yeah, so again, that was the annual catalog scavenger hunt. The holiday mini catalog will be hot off the press, um, within a few days. Um, my goal is to have that ready by the end of the week. I thought I was going to do it the early part of the week, but there's always so much stuff going on, you guys. <laughs> so oh, I have to make lists. <laughs> so, all right. It's a great new annual catalog. We have lots of um, great upcoming card classes. Um, just note for the ones that are coming up in June, I have maybe a two or one left for Let's Just Stamp. The monthly class, I've got about eight. Um, Hues of Happiness, Ink, Paper, Scissors, I'm down to about 10. Sun Prints, I have less than 10. It's maybe like seven or eight. So uh, to see what those are, I had a swap card. Nope, I had a June showcase video that you can find to watch. Um, or if you just go to my calendar of events, the cover photos show close-ups of those cards. Um, just generally go to Thursdays. Those are when I have my online Facebook Live classes or uh, Monday afternoons is when I do the Let's Just Stamp. Hi, Marie Gilbertson um, from Northern Minnesota. So that's where you can see them. I'm also um, gonna be closing down the swap groups for the Summer Creative Escape for those who signed up. I think I have everybody in now. Now I need just to send it out to you guys and I'll try to do that by the morning as well. And if anybody's still on the fence about the Summer Creative Escape, know that I know how many are signed up now and I always will make about a dozen more uh, because generally that fills up once I show cards and I show the the, um, the attendance gift. So, uh, <laughs> Barbara, I'm the most active Stampin' Up! demonstrator. <laughs> I am pretty active. I, I cannot lie. <laughs> Hi, Louise Power. Um, so if you guys are still on the fence about Summer Creative Escape, just know that the deadline was this past Friday. The swap deadline is for surely closing, but I still will have some availability um, as as time progresses. That will get less and less, though. So, all right, you guys, I will be live on Thursday night um, with the monthly card class. And I did email that PDF to out, out to everybody who did sign up for the class, as far as I know I did. So if you signed up for that class and you didn't get that PDF, then reach out to me. But I had 20 doing the online class. So that was sent out last night, pretty late around 10. Uh, so hopefully you have it. Check your spam if you um, aren't seeing it. It might be in there. And otherwise, reach out to me and I will make sure to get it to you. And we'll do those cards Thursday night. And Kelly will have a technique Thursday for you on Thursday. So all right, you guys. Lots of sunshine, love, and hugs to you, and stay cool wherever you are, or make sure you warm up if you're in a cold environment. <laughs> I'm Luann Johnson. All right, we'll see you later, guys. Love you.